Today's topic, your manifestation is closer than you think, do this right now. Today I want to show you what you have to do when your manifestation is closer than you think. When you are in this position right now, where the signs that your manifestation is closer already show up. For example, you feel better and better every day. It gets easier and easier for you to raise your vibration. And the universe provides you with all kinds of different signs. Maybe you meet somebody who tells you something about the one thing that you want to manifest. For example, when I came to the back then very painful conclusion for myself that I can no longer live in Bangkok because of all the pollution, because I couldn't breathe anymore and because I was constantly sick and I constantly was just coughing all the time. And I then manifested a new city, a new country and maybe even a new continent. I then started to manifest it, even though I had no idea where life would take me or let's say where the universe would guide me to. But the more I manifested and the more I thought to myself, okay, there has to be a better place for me out there, the more all the signs were guiding me to Romania and then all the signs from the universe were guiding me to the specific city where I'm living in right now. So all the signs from the universe then showed me, okay, this is the right path. Or maybe some kind of synchronicity happens for you where you want to manifest, let's say you want to manifest a business, you want to start your own business. And then suddenly you meet somebody who also does business in this area. Or you meet somebody who's looking for a specialist to hire maybe for a freelance contract where you could gain skills that then help you to start your business. These are all things that happen when your manifestation is close. But now we come to a very, very important point. And unfortunately, some of my Skype coaching clients who I coached in one or two or maybe even three sessions, they fell into this trap. They thought, hey, I've got it all figured out. I can now stop using my manifestation process. And I don't say this because, hey, you need to work with me, otherwise you will not succeed. That's not true. It's totally up to you if you want to work with me as a coach or not. You can also do it alone. It might be more helpful for you if I can guide you and help you. But I would never say that you are dependent on my coaching. So always keep that in mind with all these points that I discuss here. You do not have to book a coaching session with me. However, you do have to continue to work on your manifestation process. Because when you are right at this stage right before your big manifestation can happen and your manifestation is closer than you think and you then say to yourself, ah, you know, now I can stop, you know, I figured it all out and yeah, I'm good, yeah, everything's okay now, whoa. And this is something that I did in the past, I fell into this trap and that's why I want to prevent you from falling into this trap. To give you a quick example from my own personal life, when I started to overcome my self-hate, and to turn my self-hate into self-love, I did all kinds of exercises that allowed me to love myself more. And one of the simplest exercises was I simply looked in the mirror and said, I love myself, I love myself. And then I said, I love you to the reflection in the mirror. And then after doing that for a couple of weeks, I then got arrogant and I said to myself, oh, you know, I'm feeling better. Huh? I got it all figured out. I can stop now. And that was the moment when the old negative beliefs kept creeping in again. And then I thought to myself, huh, interesting, that's the same with manifesting. If you are in this position where you're so close, but you then allow your mind to trick you into believing that you are so further ahead than you actually are, and you then stop doing the work, you stop working on yourself, you stop using your affirmations, you stop meditating, you stop visualizing, you stop raising your vibration, that's when you then also stop your manifestation, even though it was closer than you thought. And another thing you absolutely have to do is to stop obsessing about when it will happen. And this is also something that I did in the past. It's a trap that I fell into. And that's why I want to help you to not make this mistake. When I first started with manifesting more money and when I then achieved the financial success eventually that allowed me to create the Money Manifestation Magnet program for you, I stopped myself from manifesting money so, so long because I was so obsessed with when it will happen. I thought to myself, by the end of next month, 
by the end of the next two months and at the end of the year and I have to have this by the end of that and blah, 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 blah. And the more I did that, the more pressure and the more resistance I introduced. I mean, I put pressure on myself and I introduced resistance into my manifestation because the universe said, hey, if you could just chill out a little bit, relax, let go, trust me, everything will be good, you will get your money, it's all good, you will get the moolah, you just have to relax. And then I finally realized, hey, if I really think about it, does it matter if I double my income now or in four months? Does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. When it happens, it will be amazing. And now I feel amazing because this allows me to make it happen. So stop obsessing over when it will happen. I know you want it now. I mean, yes, of course you do. Everyone wants it now. But when you really think about it, and I mean really, really think about it, if you, for example, want to manifest more money and right now you have a job that pays the bills and you are not homeless and you're not in a position where you would suffer if you didn't earn more money, then is it really so, so important if you get it one month earlier or one month later? It's not. And the same is true for you if you want to manifest a relationship. Does it really matter? I mean, put yourself in this position where you are in a relationship with the guy of your dreams or the woman of your dreams and you just live a happy and blissful life. Does it really matter if this person shows up now or in two months from now or in four months from now? In the end, it won't matter. I mean, hey, you won't sit there on your wedding day and say, Oh, damn it. If I would have only met him or her four months earlier. Ugh, such a bummer. Of course you won't do it. You will be so happy that you have this person in your life. And you will achieve this manifestation goal. You will receive this person from the universe way faster if you chill out and if you stop obsessing about when it will happen. Because then the universe can allow it to happen. And raise your vibration every day. Don't get lazy. I mean, yes, of course, I can highly recommend if you want to raise your vibration that you click on the link in the description and find out more about my Vibration Rocket program and then decide for yourself if that's something that you might or might not be interested in. And in the same way as with my coaching, you do not have to invest in my Vibration Rocket program. But if you do and if you use this 10-minute guided meditation to raise your vibration, then even though it's very, very effective if you just do it once, you might want to do it again. And you might want to do it again because, hey, who doesn't like feeling good? And that's why it's so important that you consistently and constantly work on your manifestation process. And I know from a spiritual aspect, that's the stuff that nobody wants to hear because it doesn't sound so fantastic. It doesn't sound magical. Everybody wants to hear, oh, I used this affirmation once and I meditated once and boom, I was beamed into the fifth dimension and then whoop -a doom all my wishes came true. And I know that I could make it easy for myself by just telling you that, yeah, one wish and boop boom everything will happen. But I believe in consistency. I believe that if you raise your vibration every day, it's more effective than if you do it once. And it's more effective than if you do it two times a week. That's why I personally use my affirmations twice a day and I meditate every single day. No exception. And that's also why I'm able to manifest so many amazing things in my life. So whenever you have the feeling that your manifestation is closer than you think, don't get lazy. Instead, continue to raise your vibration and be grateful for the small manifestations that already showed up. I am pretty sure if your manifestation is closer than you think, one of the signs is that you have already received something from the universe. It might be a person who gave you knowledge about something that helps you on your path. It might be a small amount of money that helps you to achieve then eventually your big manifestation goal of, for example, doubling or tripling your income, which is something that's very realistic. I, for example, tripled my income in just a couple of months. And if you check out the presentation page of my Money Manifestation Magnet program, then you will also read about how I've done it. So yes, it is possible. But you also have to be grateful if you just get five or ten or hundred dollars more a month because these are small manifestations. They show you that you are on the right path. Or for example, if you want to attract a loving relationship, but you haven't met the right person yet. But at the same time, you now are surrounded by people 
who are positive. You are surrounded by people who are loving and caring. Just because you haven't found the right person as a partner yet doesn't mean that you should ignore the fact that you are now surrounded by people who uplift you and no longer by people who put you down. These are all signs from the universe that your manifestation is closer than you think. And if you are grateful for these things, then the universe can provide you with the big manifestation because then you are in a vibration of gratitude and always remember gratitude is the ultimate state of receivership and i know you're sick and tired of me saying this but it's so important and that's why i will continue to say it gratitude is the ultimate state of receivership mic drop and then remind yourself of all the amazing things that you have already manifested into your experience no matter what it might be. Maybe you've manifested money. Maybe you've manifested a friend. Maybe you've manifested a new job. And if you haven't manifested anything yet, then you might want to check out the second link in the description and find out more about Skype coaching with me. Because I would love to get to know you and to help you to achieve your first manifestation success. But if there's something that you've already manifested, then remind yourself of the fact that you are a powerful, deliberate creator. You have this power. It's already within you. You have the power to manifest your dreams. You've done it before, maybe with something small, but you've done it before. And this is proof enough that you can do it again. So when you have the feeling that your manifestation is close, remind yourself of all the amazing things you've already manifested in the past. Even if it's just one tiny, tiny thing. But by doing that, you confirm to your conscious mind that it's okay to believe that you are in fact a powerful, deliberate creator. And then your conscious mind and your subconscious mind shake hands and say, yup, I believe the same. Do you believe that too? Yup, I believe it too. And then you can manifest your big manifestation. And the last point I want to mention is to stop doubting the law of attraction when the universe requires your full trust. And I know it's so, so hard. When you are at this stage where you are so close and your manifestation is closer than you think and you then want to give up because you think, oh no, it hasn't happened yet, oh, it won't happen, that's when you need to trust. That's when you need to fully let go, stop doubting the law of attraction and trust the universe. It's a little bit like somebody who's running a marathon, but it's so foggy that he can't see anything. And then right before the finish line, he gives up. Even though the goal was so, so close, just two more steps and then he would have achieved the goal or she would have achieved the goal. And that's often what happens with people who want to manifest their dreams and then they give up right before the universe can deliver it because they think that, oh, if it hasn't happened now, it won't happen in the future. But I would say it like this, if it hasn't happened now, then it can happen tomorrow. Or it can happen at the end of today, or it can happen in two months, or it can happen in two weeks. It can happen at any time. So always continue to, and yes, now we come full circle, work on your manifestation process and don't even think about giving up. And if you decide to work with me in a coaching session, then I promise you that I will not allow you to give up. And if you enjoyed watching this video, Please send out some love to the YouTube universe by giving this video a big, big thumbs up. And I would also appreciate it if you would leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think about my video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to click on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I release a new video for you.